Morning. Um, what time is it? It's um, five to seven. Sun isn't up yet. We are officially doomed to darkness from <laughs> from now on. We we officially have the first day. Of, we've had the first day of autumn. Not that you noticed yesterday. Anyway, continuing on with the debacle from the fuel shortages, the crisis that's going on. Every garage that had no diesel or petrol yesterday all have diesel and petrol today. Well, they had last night. They were queuing, as you saw in my video last night, queuing 10 o'clock last night, midnight, going to work this morning, half past five in the morning, queuing into um, in the bus, uh, in, in the bus garages, in the, in the petrol garages, you know, the, the, the mentality of people, it, it just beggars belief, it really does. <coughs> I don't understand. But on top of that, on top of that, my leader going out. Um, every, yeah, every garage that I've passed today or last night, I've all put their prices up. You absolute fucking scumbags. <laughs> you, I hope you all burn in hell. You are absolute filth. Every single one. Vermin. You know, it's just, I know it's the supply and demand and all you, all, all you people out there go, well, you know, it's, it's a justifiable expense. It's absolute fucking nonsense. You know? It really fucking pisses me off. Anyway, that's, a, that's, a, that's my rant done for the day. Hopefully, that's my rant done for the day. I can't see it being, um, I can't see it being over to be honest, because I nearly got stuck in it coming, stuck in it at five ways coming at, uh, at the A20. They're all queuing in the, in the junction to get into the shell garage, as they were last night. Um, so I've I've had to come down the right turn lane and go round all the people that are sitting in the middle of the junction. You know, don't the police have cameras? You know, if you do something wrong, they'll soon nick you. It's 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 mad. I mean, I've come up. So we run light. We go we go cross instead of bearing going line of route down South End Road. We go straight down Green Lanes over Railway Bridge, <coughs> up past Sainsbury's. Do a left onto the High Street. Well, Sainsbury's doesn't open till now, seven o'clock ish, and they're queuing round the block to get in there, sitting at the barriers waiting to go in. And I understand people, you know taxi drivers and mini cab drivers and couriers they all need fuel probably on a daily basis you know when I was a when I was a cab driver I put 30 quid of fuel in a day most days 25 20 quid 30 quid you know all you all every day you put fuel in because it's 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 the nature of the beast <laughs> but the people that were waiting in this bus stop were not couriers we're not taxi drivers weren't mini camp drivers they were just muggles you know non taxi driving non bus driving folk and it does make you wonder and I, I, I mean I, I said it yesterday you know why are you all going out at the same time so some of them you, you've got out, got out you've got up you've got out got out your scratcher and you've gone and got fuel which is fine which is great you know because you're not plugging up the day <sighs> but that day is gonna, today is going to be there once you get past five ways say once you get past Elmstead Woods station it's a joy or when you're coming back this way and you've got 
I don't know what it is. It's just, it's just, it, getting across five ways at the best of times is you come out, of, come down William Barefoot Drive, turn left in the green lanes, and when we, when you get to the junction, we bear right, go down South End Road. That can take some days five, six, seven, eight changes of lights, just depending what's in front of you. Because when you get to William Barefoot, you've got to be in the right hand lane to turn left to get in the right hand lane to turn sorry to get in the right hand lane to turn right yeah you've got to be in the right hand lane to turn left so we can get in the right hand lane to turn right um so everyone else is whipping down the inside of you turning left to go down the left hand lane to go straight ahead or, or what they do now is they go down the left hand lane to turn left and then jib in uh another one all buses should be armed you know them giant boxing gloves on springs just press the button Ba-ding! watch them float off into the distance and get caught by a huge baseball catcher's mitt and then crushed <laughs> that would be excellent I catches me. Where do I get it from? I have no idea. Maybe because I've thought about it long and hard. Oh dear. All right, I suppose we'll have a look. So what time it is. How long have I got left? Might even go oh, a quarter of an hour. I might even go and see if the coffee shop's open. Oh, coffee. A morning coffee. Or should I show you my duty card? Coffee, duke. Do quickly show you a duty card and then I'm gonna get coffee. Okay, this is my duty card for the day. Duty number 1506. Signed on at 629, sign off at 5 past 3. I've done my BCR card, checked the bus, left the depot, run dead to Eltham. I leave Eltham at 7.14. Ten minutes. Go to Addington. Addington to Eltham. Eltham to Bromley North. Bromley North for my meal relief. Is an hour and one minute. Take over the bus again at Bromley North. To Addington. Addington to Eltham. Eltham to Bromley North. And done. Back on the bus finished you always squeeze a little bit more in on a Saturday and a Sunday especially on a Sunday because there's less duty less, there, there are less drivers working Saturdays and Sundays than there are during the week so you have more rounders to do which is fair enough which just means that you get more time off at the weekend on average so I'm off Saturday today, I'm off tomorrow. I think you get, in this room, someone said you get 27 Sundays off in a year, which is not bad, really. Over half, over half, yes, over half. Um, yeah, maths is shocking. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get, so we do a long weekend, The following weekend we we have off. It works funny. So you, you have a long weekend, then you, you have a weekend off. Sat the next weekend you have off Saturday and Sunday. Then the next one you have off Sunday Monday. The next month you'll have a long weekend, but you won't have a weekend off. I think that's how it works. I don't know. So I just drive a bus. I don't work out the rosters. I'm not clever enough. There's a computer that does all that. <sighs> right. What am I going to do now? I was going to get some coffee. Let's go and see if the coffee shop's open. Denied. No coffee. Not open. <sighs> I might have to get one at Addington. From Costa. Oh, 
Take you there, yeah. What time I got home? What? Half ten, half nine, half nine last night. So we're getting five today. My choice, you know. I can't mind. You know, you do these things for the missus, so she can do a half marathon. <laughs> <laughs> My missus' training has consisted of basically sitting on the couch watching Netflix. So, <laughs> she, oh, she's bought a new pair of trainers. <laughs> oh, she's going to be in tatters tomorrow. Oh, dear. And I will chuckle. I will. I will chuckle and guffaw. Guffaw, there's the word for the day. Guffaw. Don't know how to spell it. But there you go. Right, got to go. Two minutes to go. Start the old beast up. <sighs> we'll see you on the other side. Hopefully, the carnage won't happen until tomorrow. When I'm off. Yeah. Is that going to happen? No, I don't think it is. All right, I'll speak to you later. It's a bit misty in Addington today. New Addington. <laughs> the window's dirty. No, it's misty. Which is strange because I think it's on the top of a hill. There you go. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Oh, oh I'm hungry this morning. It's supposed to not make some funny noises. Now, Trump 2550 is coming in. For all you nerds, buy some clown nerds. <laughs> I've always thought if taxis had the same, you know, you have, they have the license plate on the back, they, they, obviously you have your, your, the, the yellow license plate, like that one there, but they also have the uh, registration plate. They also have the taxi license plate in, in, in white behind, uh, above it. Uh, I always thought if that taxi kept the same <clears throat> number all the way through its life, there'll be taxi spotters as well. I might be wrong, but you know I'm right. Taxi spotters. Yeah, so, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think you would. You'd be out there on street corners. Not selling your wares, but... What do you call it? What do you call it? <laughs> Taxi spotting. <clears throat> because you're a pe peculiar breed. Oh! Oh, he's, it's a bit brisk. Oh, he's going straight back out. Is it the same one? No, it's a different one. Look, oh, look, for the tram nerds. That's tram 2532. Oh. <laughs> I know I shouldn't take the piss out of the people who watch my videos, but it's very hard not to. of the bus the bus I keep saying bus stations garages are um, getting longer <clears throat> in Abington village which is about a mile or so down there Abington village interchange on the other side of that slightly over to the left so it doesn't really affect me is a big shell garage and they're queuing it must be a mile mile long down the road. Madness. It's only going to get worse. The media. There was a government minister who said 
something. I don't. I didn't hear it. I haven't heard it, but I've, I, what I've heard is another one. Look, look, look. Oh, wow, what's going on? Look, two, five, four, one. Two, five, four, one. You know, I'll be coming up here a weekend. I'll be days off with me little notepad. Let me know. Yeah, there was a government minister said, that, oh, there won't be enough fuel to go around. And the media's dived on it and caused chaos. You know, every every news item you hear, oh, we're all going to die. We're doomed. What a doomed, like they doomed. It's just ridiculous what the media get away with, what they're allowed to get away with. <coughs> well, they purport the news, report the news, or they purport to report the news. There's a good there's a sentence for the day. They purport to report the news. And they actually don't, they just gossip monger. Oh, it's very misty, very odd. It's actually in the area around here, although Addington, New Addington is quite a, a large council estate. Um, it's quite rural. There's a lot of, on the way down, we call it the Mad Mile, is it Addington Road? Um, it's just farmer's fields and, and hills and trees and stuff. So, you know, there were... It was corn or wheat or whatever he was growing in there um, a couple of weeks ago. And um, every time, the last time I was at work, before my, before my holiday, they were going up and down with the combine harvester, taking it all in. So, <clears throat> so no doubt they'll slurry that field and they'll be planting in it very shortly, I suppose. Right, let's go and have a look and see how long I've got left. And I'm gonna, I'll leave it to you with you. I'll speak to you in a little bit later. Well, I've got another rant to do about stupid people in bus, in bus garages, petrol garages. Well, that was, um, how, do you, so how do we say it? It was a bloody awful day. But again, I mean, praise be the controller. He's, he's turned me in, in time to get back to Bromley North. And I was a couple of minutes late getting off the, for a more ordinarily would have. No buses where they should be. No 261, no 358s, no 61s. They're, 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 they've all been curtailed and diverted and do, or do whatever they've done. So <clears throat> the bus that I would never get back to the garage the 336 just saved my life today <laughs> it's clear as a bell all the way around the back doubles you know the way, you know the route that i don't want to learn but it's great you know straight round uh but yeah there's a fella this is how bad this is how the the world has got there's a fella on facebook who's selling petrol and it's, it's and he will deliver. <laughs> the man is a complete. See you next Tuesday. He really is. So I'm going home. Let's see how long it takes me to get home. Ooh. Because now I've got to go and sit in all that traffic. That I've just sat in in the bus. So the people will still be there. But what can you do? Right. Another ranty one. It's not, not, not what I had in mind, but that's life in the big city. Try. So, my way home is through five ways past the petrol station. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. 
Sorry about that, I was just giving a driver a lift up to Bromley North. Because yeah. I'm, I'm like that. And there are, there's a 314 there, 71. Burning number, there's a 246 coming the other way. There, there, there's buses everywhere today. The, the traffic has just been, the difference between yesterday and today, it's literally been all day. It's sort of built up during the day yesterday. But today it's been five. Well, like I said, I, I, I was in the, I, I, the BP garage in Bromley Common, half past five this morning. I was in, I was in and there, in, in and out, not a problem. When I picked up, when I uh, BCR the bus, came out and went back the other way. Um, as I was coming out, it was queuing then. So <clears throat> I'm hoping, hoping that. Um, Ways and Footscray Road. One, I've run out of petrol already. <laughs> or it's going to be a long journey home. <clears throat> Again, selfish people doing what they do. It's quite odd driving a Bromley High Street in a in a taxi and not a bus. I don't think I've ever done it before. I must have at some point. Dear me. Right, I'm going to leave it there because I've done two randy ones. I've got two days off now. So I'm going to go and kick the lump out of the, the allotment and laugh at the missus when she comes in after this charity walk tonight. Can't wait. She's gonna be in tatters tomorrow. Tatters. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there. And the word for today is traffic jam. There you go. I've been sat in one all day. Traffic jam. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.